They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and so that a video must be a million words. Um, I know that there are a lot of descriptions for how to get started with the Unit 2 project, and I wanted to include a video to walk you through the process. Um, so basically, it's three big picture steps. We're going to find a survey. We're going to download the data, the fastq.gz file is what we're looking for. Um, and then we're going to upload that data to Galaxy. So let's walk through each of these steps. So we're going to start looking at NCBI on Biosample. Um, we can go to the Biosample Home or Biosample Search Builder by clicking Advanced. And on the Advanced tab, it's kind of nice. You don't have to type the word AND. It has it there for you. Um, on the Biosample Home, we're just going to type it as capital letters. So first thing I'm going to type in is this brand name of an application that is used by the American Gut Project. Q-I-I-T-A is pronounced cheetah, and this tool is part of the Chime, Chime um, set of tools for analyzing microbiome data. It's something that shows up in each of the survey reports from the American Gut Project and is a very unique search term. Um, so that tends to work really well, better than um, more general descriptions like American or gut. And then we're going to put and one of the survey questions from the American Gut Project survey to figure out an individual that answered a survey question in a particular way. Um, so you can actually copy that directly from Canvas. So if we want to open up our Canvas assignment for 2.1, you'll see that there's a typical survey as an Excel file. You can download it at your computer or you can look at it just um, in a browser and you can see all these different questions and particular answers. So let's look at some of these really simple ones that are true and false. So alcohol types sour beers. Um, if we wanted, if we wanted to compare one person who likes sour beers and one person who doesn't like sour beers, we could highlight this survey question. So I'm highlighting that, copying it, and pasting it into the search term. And now I'm going to only find individuals who were asked this survey question and who said false. Um, so it looks like sour beers are not very popular, right? 18,000 people almost have said no. Um, and if we want to look at gut data, we're going to look for human gut metagenome. Um, if you're comparing this to your own um, sequencing run from genes and genomes class, you would want to look for oral microbiome data. And I can click on one of these individuals, and I can verify, I can look through the survey, um, and I can see all the answers to their questions. And then once I look through their survey and I decide, yes, this is somebody I'm interested in making a comparison with, I can click on the SRA the short read archive where all of the data is stored, and they can get the run number. Now, it's possible to download a FASTQ file from NCBI and from this link. But recently, since 2021, the data that gets uploaded is stored in a FASTQ Lite format, which hides quality scores. Since our, the next applications that we're going to use on Galaxy are going to need quality scores, we don't want to get a FASTQ Lite file. We want a real full FASTQ file that has all of the quality data. So we're going to go to the European Nucleotide Archive, the counterpart to the short read archive, and we're going to search with that unique identifier. That will bring up a run that will have a link to download the data. So we can click on this first link. If there's two links, that usually means there was a forward read and reverse read. So we'll download the first read and we click Download Selected Files. Now that file is being downloaded onto my computer. I can check, um, I can check and see you know, when it's fully downloaded. Now I can go to my Galaxy history and I can upload data. So choose local file, downloads, and I have a lot of these. So it looks like that one did not fully download. Let's go back to European. 